For part C, we know that the total voltage phasor on the transmission line is a combination of any positive voltage phasor and any negative traveling voltage phasor. And we can write the positive traveling voltage phasor as V naught plus coefficient times E to the J beta D. And for the negative voltage phasor, we have the V naught minus coefficient times E to the minus J beta D. So first from part B, we determined that the voltage wave traveling towards the generator is, uh, that there is only a wave traveling towards the generator. So that means that this is equal to zero. So V naught plus is equal to zero. Then for part D, we know that the total voltage phasor is just the V naught minus times E to the minus J beta D. And then if we compare this to the voltage phasor that's given, and we take out that term, all the rest of it is equal to V naught minus, which in this case is a complex term. So for V naught minus, we get 10 E to the point 1 D, and then a constant phase across the entire transmission line, E to the J 0.5 pi.